Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and this time I'm gonna go as... I don't know who am I gonna go as. We did a Tainted Eden last time and it actually went really, really well. We got quite a lot done. Um, I have a few people like Tainted Lazarus as well that I still got loads to do. But the, it's, it's difficult because it's like I don't want to do these characters because they're an absolute pain. But the longer I leave them, the more I'm going to have to play them later. I've also still got quite a few challenges that I need to do. I'm thinking of doing some of them off camera to be honest because some of the... Um, some of the uh, challenges are just really dull and boring to watch, like pitch black and stuff like that. I'm thinking of just getting those ones out of the way with off camera, so let me know what you guys think about that. I don't, don't want to do all of them, but there's some of them that I just don't think are the best viewing experience. Um, they're pretty dull. Anyways, we're going to play as Tainted Jacob, I think, because we haven't done anything as him, and he's a character that I quite like. Um, we've had a few close runs of this guy, but nothing major. Pyro's pretty good start. Pretty good start. Um... Of course, it doesn't it doesn't completely save us in, by any means uh, because being able to heal ourselves doesn't do an awful lot when um, tainted Jacob comes a rocking. The big man himself comes a rocking. Fortunately, nothing from these poops. But yeah, it does mean we can get some explodies going to um, get some explodies going to give ourselves some bonuses and some healing. Oh, bugger. Okay, let's let's not die straight away. Let's try and use this guy to heal up a little bit. I'm not quite sure what happened there. There you go. <laughs> that made things nice and easy. Allowed us to get easily healed up there. I like that. I don't know what this head's doing here. But yeah, is there ever anything that does an explosion, we can use that. I can use Anima Solar as well here to potentially get some kills. I'm always very bad with Anima Solar. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a tricky one to, to use effectively. I will admit. Okay, that was almost unfair. I got completely trapped then. Good, good. Pill, why not? Speed up, lovely. Speed up's very, very nice. Ugh. <sighs> As for the question of the day today, what's the most dangerous thing you've done recently? That'd be interesting to know. Whether it be an activity, something at work, I don't know. There's, there's just a lot of different things that could potentially be, I feel like. Be interesting to hear what people's uh, thoughts on that would be. What what their most dangerous thing is. I'm, I'm sure there's a few who that I know of that probably got work-based things that are dangerous all day, every day. Nice little penny there. Unfortunately, a card we can't get to. Oh, that was a complete whiff. Where the hell was she going then, boy? What was that about? What are you doing? He's all over the goddamn place. There you go. That's more like it. It's more like it. That's good for a soul heart. I like it. Uh, we can go wherever we want here, so we'll just take the easier route. But fire rate increase is nice. Plus one soul heart. These wisps are also reasonably helpful as well. Good stuff. We can use the spectral tears here to uh, shoot through the rocks a little bit. I want to try and get as much of the floor done as I can before our boy spawns, of course. Fortunately, slightly annoying room there. I ended up destroying one of my wisps. Not the biggest fan of that. And again, destroyed my wisps. Heck you. Okay. Not too bad, though. The wisps aren't, like, that sort of big of a deal. It's nice to have them, but if we get rid of them, it's, it's kind of fine. Ooh, it actually puts the enemy out. I never knew that. That's kind of cool. Some extra bombs is lovely. Sack dagger doesn't... It doesn't do too much for us, but it at least blocks shots, and we can try and use it here and there. A little penned in here, but managed to escape still. <clears throat> good, good. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Don't know why I opted to do this room. There was no need for me to really do it, but... Oh, well. It kind of worked out anyways. <sighs> Reflected key. I would kind of like that, because I am low on keys, but... Need to keep my deal with the devil chances alive. I can take free deal with the devils as this guy as well, so I ought to remember that. Something that I often forget as this guy. 
My mini Isaac did a good job there. Oh, you bitch! I didn't realize he was diving. It's it's kind of okay. It's kind of fine, but still, it's annoying. Uh, let's go in here. I guess I'll take the guppy item. Unfortunately, I can't take the reflected stuff now because I think it'll kill me. I'm gonna gamble. Okay, it doesn't kill me. Good. That was my gamble, and I'm glad I took it. Right. Back this way. Bugger off you. Not interested right now. Okay, open up that one at least. And quickly check the shop out. Um, yes please, I'll take that. And with this I can afford another key, let's take that. Alright, let's get gone, shall we, before things get too hairy. Right, that was a, that was a little bit of a sticky situation there. He, he, I, I always hate it when he does that, when he dives from like completely like off screen. <laughs> get ourselves a library here, we've got um, Ipecac. And we've got the string missing. Uh, we'll probably take the Ipecac book here. Just because we've got explosion immunity. It means that once every four rooms we can gain Ipecac, which seems pretty useful. Um, I guess I can go for a planetarium disc here. Keep that for the boss, maybe. We don't have a soul heart at the minute, which is annoying. Okay, that Ipecac does only last one room, so it's a little tricky to utilize. Okay. Little annoying here. I'm very stressed out about losing my devil deal at the moment. I'm not even sure when I lost my soul heart. Was it getting... Did I get hit by a boss before I got hit by this guy? I can't even remember. But I'm liking this bee thing we've got going on right now. That's very, very nice. And also, Guppy's eye is, is pretty useful, to be honest. It's, it's an item that I don't often take, but it's it's pretty darn good. Yeah, let's. I, I need to lock this guy up more often. I don't lock him up enough. It is useful to do. Right, Dad's key unfortunately just isn't that useful for us. I mean, it's a good item overall, but it's just not that useful for us right now. Ipecac there was pretty helpful. Kind of interestingly enough, now we have a guaranteed way. How did you not kill those other two? We have a guaranteed way to heal ourselves now. We can use our book in a room to just heal ourselves up, which is pretty nice. Right, I don't like these clam boys. They have some attacks that are rather annoying to deal with. Surprised that one didn't die. Okay, it did die eventually. It just took some time. Right, so... For example, let's go back this way real quick. Um, yeah, let's go back this way real quick. Bit of a risk here for my de devil deal chance, but it's only 36% chance, so I'm not completely, completely set on it actually happening. Oh, God damn it! Unfortunately, this guy got his body back really easily there. It's very annoying. Yeah, this is pain in the ass. I've got two bloody super fast things to dodge around the whole time. Don't like this. Okay, good. There you go. Right, so, my plan here was that now... Okay, that's an eternal heart, so that's good to know. We'll do that after we've beaten the floor. But basically, what I can do here is I can come over here. Come into here. Obviously, I don't have to worry about my devil deal in here. Oh, this is a very terrible room. <laughs> Whoops. Guess that was a bit worthless. But basically what I'm thinking now is now, if I want to, I can use my Ipecac to heal myself. I mean, I ended up getting a red heart here anyway, so it didn't really matter. But, you know what I mean. It's like a pretty, pretty decent way to do things. Right, anyways, let's keep making our way back down this way. We've got enough money to get a soul heart from the shop, so maybe we should do that. 
It's only got one key, though, so I'll check it out, though. Um, unfortunately not, but I think I will take a speed-up pill, though. I think speed-up pill's reasonably worthwhile. Um, we'll pop our planetarium disc now. Okay, that's great. I've uh, hurt myself because I accidentally got terror and wasn't expecting to and hurt myself on a mushroom. That's fantastic. What a fucking... Ugh, I should have expected to get terror, really, but I was not... I was not planning on it. <laughs> Annoying way to lose my devil deal there, I'll tell you. Good. So there. We did get our devil deal, surprisingly. Pretty happy about that. Right, back through here. Not what I was expecting here. Good, good. Did not get Lump of Coal, annoyingly enough. Right. Yeah, surprising we got that 11% chance there. That's, that's pretty crazy. We got a Soul Heart again here. That's good. I'm going to go back and um, open up the secret room for one. Oh, God. Oh, God. This room's, this room's gross. <laughs> There's so much in here. This was evil. Do I get stuff for killing all of these guys? I better do. No, I got a pill. I'm not even that interested in taking the pill either. Why is um, Guppy's eye not working on the poops? I thought Guppy's eye told you what was in poops and fires and stuff. Why is it not working on the poops? Am I wrong about that? Maybe I am. We've got enough to get burger bombs now if we want it, but honestly, I don't think burger bombs is that good. Okay, careful of the goddamn stupid crabs. Oh god, if we if we get through this without getting hit, I'll be surprised. Good. Bees are still doing a good job. Last wave here. Crabs are on their way to fuck shit up once again. Do not steal my eternal heart, you stupid crab. The so like the shadow is so goddamn hard to see. Like, it's the tiniest, faintest shadow. It's chasing me constantly. I can see it. Dude, get up out of the ground. Thank you. Oh, my God. So frustrating. Right, we're going to keep this eternal heart going. Little annoyed to lose my soul heart yet again. Ugh. Goddamn Krabbiths. We keep a move in the... I have too much rage for this game, I swear. Quickly check this out. Okay, this is a bad room for this guy. Two of hearts, I guess we'll take. And down to the next floor. Feeling pretty good about the run as a whole, though, I've got to say. I'm just not particularly enthused on our ability to keep our... Um... It does tell me what's in fires. Look, there you go. Um, I, I'm, um, about keeping our devil deal. I think keeping our devil deal is not going to be something that is too easy. Oh, that, that was awesome for that room. Good. This isn't too bad. Good, good. Keeping a nice little bee army is helping us out as well. Here comes that boy. I don't even know where he is. Works out pretty well. Okay, unexpected um, and kind of annoying, to be honest. Because I'd have to kill myself to get any of these for free, which I don't really want to do. Um, I think flight's pretty valuable here. I'm going to take flight. That was not Guppy's paw, game. That was not Guppy's paw. Thank you for that. I'm a little, little annoyed to have to have spent HP on that, because if I just got that at the end of the floor, I wouldn't have had to. But the good thing is here, having flight gives us a lot more leeway around, um, around our buddy here. 
a lot more leeway around getting away from him. I'm just a little bit more scared of my HP now. I, do, I honestly, I only took the, um, the devil deal because I knew I was getting Guppy's paw, which I was going to use straight away. And guess what? <laughs> no. Guppy's, uh, Guppy's eye is a complete liar. Morbid Heart is very nice, though. I don't think Morbid Heart protects against Devil Deals, though, so... Still gotta be aware of losing our Devil Deal. We also don't have Spectral here. Also, as well, our speed is very, very nice. We've had three speed-up pills and a speed-up from an item, so... Our speed is in a very good spot. These guys are gonna be a pain. What in the bullshit was that? <laughs> What a predictive shot. Okay. Nightshade. This has changed sprite. I actually kind of like the previous sprite more. But it still, still looks good. Do you actually have a golden penny in you? That you do. So why does it lie sometimes and other times it doesn't? Two of hearts. Why you gotta be lying sometimes? But yeah, Nightshade, very, very good item. I suppose, actually, to be fair, this, this sprite is more fitting of, um... It's more fitting of, of Isaac's style, I guess. Hearts will drop more often, we'll take that on the next floor. But yeah, Nightshade is good for extra damage, but also protection. Basically, we just gain wisps when they kill stuff, it's pretty good. Um... We've seen item room, we've seen shop. We're probably pretty good to just go here. Didn't have our active ready, but honestly with this this fella in tow, I don't think it matters too much. We got the goddamn devil deal anyways. Which is actually kind of good, because now we can do this and grab Gimpy for free. Which I quite like. And then we can go. Gimpy for free. Pretty good stuff. Got a lot of abilities to heal. That was the greatest Ipecac shot of all time. Completely whiffed it. Nice. Dude. This fucking game, man. I really want to try to be a less salty Isaac player. I feel like I rage too much at the game nowadays. People point it out in the comments a little bit, and I, I definitely do. I, I, I get it. It cannot be fun to watch, but goddamn. <laughs> the game just is like, hey, want an active item? Oh, you didn't want that active item? Do you want this active item? Oh, you didn't want this active item? Do you want this active item instead? Like, no, I have an active item that I like. I would like to keep it. Thank you. Stop offering me more and more active items. Oh, well, hero font's very nice here. Let's pop this. Bloody, this is an annoying room, this. This little dude in the middle is going to keep reviving any, everyone. There you go. We got through it just about. Yeah, I do, I do quite like where this run is going, though. I can't complain too much about the constant active items, considering the run itself is actually pretty good. If the run was worse, I'd be a lot less enthused about how things are going, but it's going pretty well. How did that guy not die? I had a lot of him. Honestly, now that i found the speed-up pill, that's all I care about. Well, that paired out quickly. I don't trust the chest contents anymore from the keeper's eye, um, Guppy's eye. I just don't trust it. But money-wise, things are looking insanely good. Insanely good. Ooh, look, it's another active item. Who'd have thought? Right, keep moving there. Good, good. 
We are kind of blasting through the rooms at this point. See, I got hit there, but I was like, get hit by an enemy or get hit by my, my ghosty friend. I think I know which one I'd rather do. Ooh, this is an interesting room. I'm going to quickly blow up these machines so I don't accidentally use them. I think that's the whole purpose of the room, is that you would accidentally run into and use these machines. This is a right pain in the ass of a room, this is. These masks are just really, really difficult enemies in, in general, obviously. I mean, everyone knows that. Oh, it instantly killed that guy. Wow. Normally, he, like, leaves a corpse behind and fills the room with flies, but not today, apparently. Okay. Don't bother doing the boss quite yet. So we might get a Devil Deal again. Honestly, our luck with Devil Deals has been so strong that, yeah, I feel like we could get one again here. Secret room, maybe here. Yeah, boy. Smelter. Unfortunately, we don't have a trinket yet, but we do have enough money to start smelting stuff. So I'm hoping that potentially we get a trinket off of the back of the rest of these rooms. Nice one. Oh, we've already found the secret room. I'm stupid. Guess I could look for Dry Baby or Black Hearts or whatever. I right, Priestess, I guess I'll take. Nothing. Right. Keep this up. Oh, them burns are like caught in midair. Extra wisp there, thank you. Lots of mini Isaacs. Our mini Isaac game is on point right now. We're just getting them constantly. That was so goddamn stupid of me. I tried to play it in a particular way. It did not work in the way I wanted it to. Okay. This is a tricky one because all of this stuff is very, very good. But I know I'm going to die if I, if I start this. But it's done now, so... So stressed out right now. Okay, we did it. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hello. A little bit scared that we no longer have our active ready for the uh, thingy now. We do have a gigabomb we could just use, which is a little scary, but I think I'm, I think I might do it. I'm going to use the High Priestess first and see if that does some good. Ooh, that was close. Let's see what boss we've got first. Okay, that helped. And that helped even more. Okay, good stuff. That, that was a scary one, but we got through it. Oh, right, one moment. Let me pause. Right, let's keep it going. Okay, items we got there were all pretty good stuff. The little bomb buddy from um, from Soul of Lilith there was very, very nice. Um, Moxie's head for the 20% uh, damage multiplier and a damage up. Pretty good stuff. I'm hoping the shop this time is actually going to be something worthwhile to us. At the minute, it's, it's difficult to know when to use my active, but at least I know it can be used on bosses and be effective there. Rooms like this, it's going to be good. Okay, our boy is in this bitch now. Another pill I don't want, I'm sorry. This guy's a pain in the ass with all of his spoders. Here's our shop. Again, remember, it's better to be hurt by an enemy than to be hurt by our, our brother. It's all fucking active items. Oh my god. 
the absolute worst. I need to check if I've got that mod on that reduces your chance for actives, because I don't think I have it on at the minute, and I really need it on, because it is... When it rains, it pours, man. We'd have so many items by now. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I forgot we had that. I mean, it blew up a tinted rock that I didn't see, so I guess that's good. I always forget that it gives you three gigabombs. I always misuse them. Would have been lovely to smelt that onto us earlier. In fact, do I even want the rosary? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't, higher chance to find the Bible. I don't really think I want that. I mean, I suppose it would give us bookworm, but... I'm not that enthused, I'll be honest. Extra penny. It's not an active item, although it's not great. <laughs> but it gives me something to something to use. I'm thinking of doing hush here just because I have so much money. It's somewhere else to spend it. We have, we've missed boss rush, unfortunately. It'd be nice if Gigabombs um, blew up the, the hole in the wall, but I doubt they do. In fact, I'm almost certain they don't. Yeah, again, it's better to be hit by the... Uh, Thingy enemies. Oh, unfortunately, nowhere to spend my money in here either. Just looking for places to spend my dime. There's a sad, sad life for us right now. Good. I mean, we're clearing rooms really fast, at least. That's one positive here in all of this. So fucking stupid. I get I get so, like, easily panicked by uh, by Jacob. I'm like, I don't know where he's going to go. I start moving back and forward and I just get killed. I get hit by him because I'm, like, spending too much time trying to think about where he's going to dash to. So this is going to be a scary boss fight here. How did that not kill you? There you go, you're dead, you're dead. Polaroid, and away. Ugh. God. Had to just beeline it there. Had to just beeline it. One sec. Right, let's keep it going. All right, so this, this the thing is, this run without our book isn't really a hush run. But I think with our book we can make it work as long as we have Ipecac going for us. Trying to make sure not to use it on Mum's heart and waste the charge. So that would be pretty stupid. Hoping I've gone the right way here. It looks like I have so far, but with the womb, you never really know. <clears throat> that was quite, quite overkill. I did not mean to use a gigabomb on those guys. I meant to use a regular bomb, but it worked out as it did. Turnips. Mimics a stock market pattern with your coins over the first seven rooms of the floor. After gaining uh, rots after seven rooms, I don't really understand how that works or what it's for, but so I'm going to ignore it. Too much thinking to be done. But yeah, we're definitely going to want more keys if we can get them. Get away, floor vagina. Right, I need to clear this room out of everything before. I do have a D100 there. Which I'm not very enthused about right now, but I'm going to keep it and accidentally use it later on, I'm sure. Right. 
These little roly-poly guys are intriguing. They never seem to do much, but they're always about. We've got one more Gigabomb left. I suppose we could use that for the boss, if I remember and don't accidentally use it on a secret room. Also open a door or something other, other, other stupid. Good. Fortunately, we did go the wrong way. Which kind of sucks, but... Oh, that little bomb there did a great deal of... Uh, great deal of damage. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could select which bombs you want to use when you have Gigabombs, but I suppose Gigabombs are just so rare that like, there's so little need for that to be a thing. Tree guy. Nice. Let me out the door, goddammit. Waiting on the door there to get out and kind of trapped against me and uh, Dark Ease out here, but he would not let me leave. More keys is good. Accidentally walked right into that thing. Lovely. Right, good, good, good. So we'll bomb you, see if we actually manage to get you. Nope, you managed to fully avoid that. That's slightly annoying. Luckily, Ezel managed to get a good hit on him there. Need to chill out, horsey boy. We got you. Right. Death's list. Maybe we can get something going with that. I'm going to take you normally and then grab death's list via walking into you, which I apparently can't do. Can I walk into you, please? There you go. Now, where we go? Oh, <sighs> little bit stressed. Yeah, death's list I won't get much use out of, I don't think, but... It's kind of one of those things where it's kind of like slightly nice to have. The little fiend, I always like having. There's so much out of our control for what we kill first, honestly, that it's going to be really, really hard in most rooms. Arcade, please. Oh, dude. The game needs to give me more ways to spend my goddamn money. <laughs> Good. Little roly boy. Fuck. Me. Why am I so bad at not getting hit by this motherfucker? Honestly, not getting hit on mum is going to be so goddamn difficult. Especially considering I can't use Ipecac. Yeah, I, th I think I'm dead here, to be honest. Damn it, you had to get this attack on, didn't you? Yeah. Having Ease out here for this is very traumatic. Okay, that was lucky. We just need to make sure we don't get hit at the end here. Sibling rivalry is very good. Go straight on through and down. Ugh, that was stressful. My god. Right, okay, that, that helps. And tractor beam's really good too. Two very good items. Now, so do I still use Ipecac is the question here. Dude, we got another Soul of Lilith. Oh, you always get Soul of Lilith from that, don't you? I'm stupid. Okay, let me drop the, the glass D100 before I accidentally use it. I think I probably still do want to use Ipecac. Didn't actually lower my fire rate all that much, to be honest. I thought I'd lower it a lot more than that. Good, good. 
Yeah, I don't know what's better, like having it with Epicac or not, because I think without Epicac, obviously the, the shots will linger on top of him a lot longer, but obviously the shots do a hell of a lot more damage with Epicac, so I don't really know what gives you the higher damage output. Basically, my, my strategy here is keep as much distance as I can from Ezel so that when he does dive, he can't reach me in one go. The only thing about that is I'm going to have to be moving a lot. Which does not bird well for this fight. We're doing really good damage to him there. Basically, at this point, I'm just going to accept taking damage from his shots rather than Ezo. It's just so much, obviously, more beneficial. Like, look, if I keep my distance from him, he can't even dash at me. This is the worst attack for us here because we can't really move much for this. Okay, I was just going to say, I just got to hope I kill him before it becomes an issue. Right, we took Polaroid, didn't we? So we're going up. Unfortunately, we haven't got any chance to do Mega Satan here, which would have been a nice a nice pull for this run. Especially now that we've got C-Section, which we've been getting a lot recently, by the way. Like, a lot and a lot. I don't really know what's been going on with that. C-Section has been showing its face... A lot of the time. Tractor beam C-section kind of is a bit weird. The soul heart there is very, very nice. I don't actually think we need to kill those dudes, do we? No, we don't. Really, Deathless, make me kill the enemy that I can't kill first. Thanks for that. Okay. We're skipping through this floor just fine. Again, with this speed, it's just the aim of the game is just keep our distance from him. Yeah. yeah. Tractor Beam's weird with this setup. It kind of goes past him and then teleports back to him. There you go. Red King. Oh, Red King is such a fucking good item. Yes. We got Magic Mush there. Lovely. And Kernhead. The other two I don't care about, but Magic... Mushroom and Kernhead are, of course, very, very good. That's also really good, too. Minor damage down for a huge fire rate increase. Right. Taken care of, my guy. Taken care of. We got some more uh, fire rate out of that. Nice. Good, good. Oh, bloody jumped on top of me. Didn't expect that. Get out of there. Yeah, just keep moving as much as I possibly can. He has very little chance of hitting me if I keep moving. The speed has helped immensely. I never really sort of thought about how good flight and speed are against Ezel, but... It's not foolproof, mind you, but it's, it's very, very good.
Good. Goddamn super long death animations. Them guys all eating each other. I did actually get Dad's key at one point in this run, so I could have done Mega Satan, but at that point, I wasn't even sure I'd make it there, so... Far more a fan of my book. Hey, we got Bookworm, nice. Got ourselves the Emperor, I mean, that helps. With this fire rate as well, 7 fire rate Ipecac C-section. Booyah, baby. Good, good, good. We got tank boys. Yes, please. Um, and yeah, what we should have done really is gone to try and do Delirium by going Dark Path. Um, with that mod that I've got. Probably would have taken C-section off of me. Uh, right, okay. At this point, I've got my completion max. Let's just try and do the rest of the floor. There's any way we can do Mega Satan, but I just super highly doubt it. We'd need kind of a miracle, really, to make it work, I think. Wow, Flight Plus Spectral Tears. Thank you. Super useful for us. Good, good, everything is dying. Yeah, I, I doubt there's any, any which way we can do it, especially now that we've already seen Dad's key. But you've got to try, haven't you? I don't think you can get sack rooms on this floor. I can't remember, but I don't think so. Right. Keep it moving. Probably try and get as many completion marks as I can on a run that's very, very good. But I know it to be a very big difficulty. Don't think that'll do anything to our Mega Certain door, will it? That most certainly won't. And the last room here, sadly. A light switch. Okay, unfortunately, we're not getting what we want here. Bugger you, door. Guess that'll be the end of it. Should have gone dark path so I could do void. My bad. It is what it is. We had a good run nonetheless. We got a good few completion marks there. And we will end off the run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.